हेलो आई आनंद जैन फ्रॉम हनुमानगढ़ राजस्थान वेलकम्स यू टू योर फेवरेट श्रीदेवी क्लासेज यूट्यूब चैनल वेयर वी इन कलकेट इंटरेस्ट एंड कॉन्फिडेंस इन साइंस इंजीनियरिंग एंड आर्किटेक्चर सब्जेक्ट टूडे इन आवर प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ ग्रीन बिल्डिंग डिजाइन एंड प्लानिंग वेल अंडरस्टैंड द रोल ऑफ बिल्डिंग ओरिएंटेशन इन सस्टेनेबल आर्किटेक्चर एंड वेल लर्न हाउ appropriate building orientation in cardinal directions can ensure energy efficiency of building operation it can provide optimum daylighting can condition temperature of building ensure natural air circulation and cross ventilation so let's start building orientation in sustainable architecture of green buildings let us first answer what is building orientation in architecture Building orientation refers to deliberated intentional positioning of building structure with respect to natural cardinal directions north south east or west and it also consider nearby natural and man-made structures building orientation plays a pivotal role in design it is very significant and important as it affect both energy efficiency of building operation and occupant comfort and well being in sustainable building designs or in the concept of green architecture all building should be oriented as per the presence of natural environment and surrounding around that building structure once the position of building structure is decided on land in building orientation the position and size of voids of the building structure also known as fenestration or opening on the structure doors window glass panel we call it envelope is also decided to keep building operation climate friendly comfortable energy efficient a building react with environment through these external facets such as walls roofs window projections doors glass panels used in building structure and we call all those building surroundings as building envelope and in building orientation decision regarding building envelope is very significant and important climate of the region and solar exposure on building is very important in building orientation building orientation is related to seasonal summer and winter and diurnal day and night recurrences which takes place at that climate region it also consider prevailing wind patterns and the path of sun over the plot is very important building orientation also consider the natural resources natural and man made structures such as trees ponds tall buildings etc one important concept of green building is passive solar design and in passive solar design a building is positioned to capture store and distribute solar heat effectively and optimally good site orientation can maintain desired temperature conditioning in living area it can provide comfortable living environment and reduce cooling need of air conditioning in summer and heating needs of temperature conditioning in the winter proper orientation of building with respect to cardinal direction is very important and essential to optimize solar exposure on building ideal orientation for passive solar design is having main axis of building roof running normal to north south direction that is along east to west direction what should be the form of building the longer or main axis of building roof should run from east to west that is the long facade the exterior wall of building usually which have doors and window of building should face either north direction or south direction so maximum fenestration openings doors and window should be placed on longer side of building and facing either north or south whatsoever the form of building may be sun path in cardinal direction on any building depends upon latitude of that land area of building on earth globe sun path is always from east to west surrounding building orientation but in indian context 
Sun is at low angle around 20 to 25 degree from horizontal during winter and towards southern side and it moves from east to west and during summer again path is from east to west but at very high angle and it is slightly towards south when it moves from east to west so in winter when sun path is at lower angle so in southern facet direct sunlight enter into the residence which is desirable whereas in summer when sun is at high angle we should provide some shedding arrangement to southern facets to reduce direct sunlight entry into building and glare and uncomfort caused by summer sun in building environment so orientation of building need good fenestration in southern facets and appropriate shedding arrangements to restrict summer sun radiation so in summer roof or sheds take burnt of the sun and in winter solar radiation directly enters into residential area nearby tall structure tall trees extension of roof visor and walls can be used to increase effectiveness of building orientation we can use tall structure tall trees tall serves to the south facets of building or west side of building to protect internal environment and inmates from summer heat burnt or afternoon additional heating and these trees and serves also provide clean filtered air temperature conditioning and most valuable oxygen in extreme hot and dry climates the form of structure need to be compact with least envelop surface area which is shared with external climate or surroundings in the building form we should use appropriate shadings to handle summer solar radiations of higher inclination especially in southern and western side and in winter these shadings will not stop lower angled solar radiation and let the sun in into the building so we can say in extreme hot climate orientation of fenestration in west directions are never preferred and fenestration in northern sides is the best and southern sides with appropriate shading also become very useful in case of a residential building or office space living rooms where inmates spend maximum durations like kitchen bedroom lounge drawing halls they should be placed away from the sun so for this northern direction west face and south face got more sun exposure and these living spaces should be placed away from sun exposure so one can place bedrooms on the east side whereas other living spaces kitchen drawing halls living rooms can be placed to northern sides so rooms which receive the most direct summer of sun that is west face and south face they can be used for garages store laundry spaces and we must provide appropriate shedding arrangement by other physical structure tall trees or serbs to both east face and west face as well as in south face in building envelope fenestration or opening or voids are necessary for day lighting and natural ventilation a good building orientation and design should provide large number of windows and opening in the north facets of the building as it is shown here to this north faced building in this building orientation north is towards us and this north facets receives lesser radiation from sun throughout the year both in summer and winter there is no direct exposure of sunlight inside the building but such openings will receive good day lighting and also enhance natural ventilation similarly window on southern facet receive direct sunlight which is desirable in winter and this appropriate designed shading restrict summer sun radiation and provide shading so in southern window we should provide appropriate shading arrangement by some shading devices roof overhangs or by deciduous trees which are dense and active in summer 
and will have smaller amount of restriction in winter to west sides or east side the number of windows or the size of windows should be minimum in order to reduce heat gains into house in early morning from east side and in late afternoon from west side similarly we should provide minimum number of openings on the roof to reduce heat gain from top and insulation provided by walls and roof withstands burn off summer heat and maintain condition temperature inside the building in sustainable green building design passive cooling can be achieved by evaporation of water and we can design courtyard which facilitate daylight natural air circulation and cross ventilation and if we design and place water and plant in courtyard then this internal courtyard provide clean filtered cool cross ventilation and enhance natural cooling by water evaporation and when such courtyard are designed it is appropriate to provide opening and fenestration in good number and size to the internal sides rather than on external walls for natural ventilation and air circulation we should study diurnal and seasonal wind flow pattern surrounding building orientation and building should be oriented with their longer axis which is aligned along east west direction perpendicular to the prevailing wind directions and this facilitate natural air flow and cross ventilation and if we place building at 30 to 40 degree angle to the direction of wind as shown here then this will enhance natural wind movement and better ventilation in case of multiple buildings on site they must be arranged in ascending order of their heights and taller building should be placed in the end position of wind flow and this will avoid wind shadow by a tall structure on other structures and enhance natural air movements as shown here and when multiple number of buildings are to be placed they must be arranged in a staggered layout so as to enhance and improve wind movement and support natural ventilation building orientation should also consider views or site characteristic and the context which is available in surrounding environment if from building we maximize scenic views whether it is natural landscape or some urban structural settings then that can enhance the quality of indoor space and provide better feeling to inmates and enhance comfort and well-being so we understood that building orientation includes all climatic considerations such as sun path movement flow of natural air and how we can improve energy efficiency natural ventilation day lighting and overall user experience of building in mats for comfort and well being in some cases there exist some site constraints or some competitive design objectives or functional duty of building may limit the ideal building orientation and an architect must balance the various contradictory factors to find the most suitable solution for a specific building project and decide building orientation to fulfill functional objective of building as well as comfort well-being of inmates and ensure energy efficiencies to reduce environmental impact of building operation by appropriate design of building orientation we hope this beautiful small duration learning video has enhanced your subject understanding about building orientation and now you can orient a building of any project to attain goals of sustainable architecture that enhance comfort of inmates and improve energy efficiencies of building operation over other learning video of green building playlist are equally useful you can use them in your study or share them to your friends happy learning have nice time thank you very much